Masters. And today's last grind is going to be out of Smith. It's one of the hardest grinds to learn out of people and double, but at the same time, it's not as hard as you think. If you know how to double peg, this trick should be a piece of cake. It's really easy. Basically, this trick is exactly like a double peg grind. Because when you, like I said in my other video, for a double peg, you pick up the front, and you go like that. And for a smith, you're going to pick up the front just like you did for a double peg, but instead, pick up the back just a teeny bit higher, not too much. I see people, when I tell people to pick up the back a little bit higher, what I see them do is they go like this. And they, like, they think you have to be really high, but you really don't. For a smith, what I did was I learned on the smallest ledge possible, and that's how I learned how to smith. And go from a bigger ledge after, after that so you could uh, get your back tire more on the ledge. The hardest part of the uh, smith is keeping your back tire on the bench because most of the times your back tire tends to slide and go into a double peg. That happens to me quite a lot, but I'm sure you how to prevent that. So I also seen a lot of people on YouTube tell you to go for smiths like this do that. Uh, I mean, I don't recommend doing that. You can try if that helps you, but just go at this angle, like a five degree angle. Pick up your front and push down, lean forward and kick up a little bit higher. Just land like this. So keep your left tire on the leg. Just keep grinding. And once you want to get out, since you're going to be like this, what you're going to want to do is, since you're in this position, you're going to pull up Push your weight forward, so, like this. Because since you're in this position, you're going to want to get out. So, again, if you want to practice the motion of getting into a spin, something like this. Pony uh, hop, and throw your front tire forward and kick a little bit to the side. It should look like this. I'll show you my missing. Something like that, uh, one more. After you do that, once you're in the spin, uh, to prevent, like I said, you're going to want to prevent your back tire from hitting. So to do that, you're going to want to lean, instead of, instead of leaning center, try to lean a little bit, uh, keep your rear end a little bit to the side, so that way your back can follow. Keep grinding, and once you want to get out, hop out of it. Um, I've been practicing feebles to smiths, and smiths to feebles. They're a little bit harder, but um, yeah, to do those, basically for a feeble to smith, you're going to feeble, and if you're going to want to smith, you're going to have to suck your uh, rear end really, really high. So if you're going to want to pick it high, get into a smith, and get out, you want to go to, from a smith to a feeble, that's a bit more harder. All you have to do is pick up, I think smith to feeble is a bit harder, but it's still the same thing almost. You want to pick it up, get into a feeble, and it's almost like almost like a crook kind of. So if you're like this, you're going to want to change positions by going like that. So you're going from this position to that, and I'll do a more detailed tutorial when I get those. Like, I can do those, but not like 100% well. So. That's pretty much all you need to learn. And I'm done with all my grinding videos, so now I'm going to do some other videos. Uh, leave me a comment on what how-to I should do next, and I'll do it. And peace.